right, we're back. Nukes, top 10 scary ghost videos. Crazy scary ghost videos. And the title says crazy scary. I expect it to be crazy and scary. So we're going to find out. Paranormal enthusiast James White has a very spooky business. He professionally arranges and hosts seances in allegedly haunted and abandoned buildings what? in Toronto, Canada. James is hosting a seance at the historic Lambton House with a group of curious participants. The Lambton House is a former inn that was built in 1860, and it is said to be extremely haunted. Now James Heck White no. and his group are about to witness something absolutely terrifying. Something must have happened. That's not the cord. That's crazy. Is it a person? So give me a sign. Are they in this room? Is it him? Is it um? Is it a male? Dang. My heart jump. I ain't gonna lie. Jump a little bit. Like right, that's what I'm talking about, bro. You willingly doing something like this? And then you can pull it back and get the joint said extremely haunted, bro. Uh, doing a freaking seance, man. What the f what 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 what? And then the surprise when something happened, that joint he got pulled back full force. Wait. Yeah, like he took out for his While in the middle of a seance, one participant is forcefully yanked backwards out of his chair by an unseen force. Bro, hey, yeet! Is it, um, is it a male? Oh, 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 oh. The door behind me was open. Heck no. And, um, I had my partner sitting beside me, and... We had the door, like the door was open by, behind us, and we thought we heard something back there, but nothing was there. So we turned. That was that thing. And I looked, and I saw nothing. So I turned my head back towards the group, like the circle, and we're all holding hands. And then all of a sudden, I just felt like this force just come and pull me back, and it was like aggressive, like aggressive. It wasn't like calm. It was aggressive, like. It was trying to kill me or something. I don't even know. Trying to My get you out the way. Like flat on the ground. I wasn't moving. I was holding hands with the people beside me, and it just pulled me. And it like felt like someone was coming up behind me, like standing up behind me as I'm sitting in the chair and like taking my shoulders and like pulling me to the center. It was crazy. Fellow participants and eyewitnesses Hell from the seance nah. took to Instagram to share their stories about the what incident. The? One seance witness had this to say about the strange event. I sat across from him when this happened, and it was fantastic to see. <laughs> oh boy. Having a seance, trying to talk to some, <laughs> trying to talk to some demons, some spirits. Bro said it was fantastic to see. Now I don't want to speak on on the demographic, but but just realize who 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 typed that out though. If you know, you know. <laughs> Crazy. Another witness says, I was there. Another epic seance with at James White seance. You see a pattern? So did James White capture evidence of an unknown entity aggressively grabbing an no innocent comment. visitor at the Lambton house? I leave it up to you to decide. Is it, um, is it a male? They both got something in common. Scream. YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures says that an anonymous fan emailed her about a very creepy experience he had while driving home late one night. The dash cam video shows the man driving down an isolated country road in the middle of nowhere. Suddenly, he spots something that makes his blood run, run cold. cold. Bro, <laughs> yo, what this does look creepy already. Bruh. 
Oh, I thought it was prison. Excuse me, you need help. What? What the f Bruh. <laughs> Why would you stop? I don't give a f f f f f freak. Who on the road, bro? You, like, we really have to analyze this, bro. He's in the middle of nowhere. He probably in Lynchin, niggaville. He probably in sundown town, okay? Look at the freaking environment. Read the freaking room, buddy. I don't care if a wife was getting viciously abused at home, escaped, and was trying to get a ride home to the police. You're not, you're not getting in my car. I might mess around and run you over. I don't care. So they in the middle, he in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road in the country. Somebody who, who shouldn't be there in the middle of the night is just walking in some type of nightgown. He's stopping it and, he's, and she scream at him. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. The driver suddenly spots a woman walking all by herself in the middle of the night. Hey, look at her. She like a nut. She like she just escaped the, the mental uh, asylum, bro. She, like she, didn't, she didn't escape the crazy place, man. As he gets closer, he is horrified when he sees that the woman is covered in blood. Hey, bro. For her safety, he rolls down his window and asks her if she needs help. Excuse me, you need help. After which, she lets out a blood curdling scream. What the f At this point, the man notices that the woman appears to have no eyes, only black sockets. Bro. Terrified by her reaction and appearance, what the driver quickly just gets out of there. He says that he called the police, what but they the? never found this mysterious woman. So just what do you think is going on here? And what would you do in this same situation? Like, bro, not only a random woman just walking in the middle of the night, this joint, she has black eyes, bro. And I can only, ima I only can imagine uh, he stopped on the side of the road. Her mouth probably open like a freaking snake. Her, her joint, you know how... Like that, right? Like a YouTube thumbnail. That joint probably detached. Frick no. Bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that joint made me feel uncomfortable just thinking about it. What the Bro. The woman in white. The fuck is he stopping for? Top five for? viewer and paranormal investigator Mark Reyes emailed me Hush. about a video that he captured with his family while on a ghost hunt at the Evangelical Spiritual Church in Cicero, Illinois. The church was once used as a funeral home and is said to be extremely haunted. It's the middle of the night and Rick and his family are investigating the church when suddenly their EMF meter detects something that they can't see. What happens next Why? is truly chilling. Are you afraid? Yeah, it's kind of loud. Why? That is trick, bro. That room over there is scary. Have you seen it? This one, come here. They got too much free time on their hand, man. This one. Wait, what? This is a private office. So you can't go in there. No, I'm saying Wait, it's open because we could. What? who seems to be wearing a white gown can be seen standing behind the family on the far side of the church. Ricky says that his daughter felt a presence as she looked back, but that none of them actually saw the mysterious woman at the time. It wasn't until they returned home that they discovered what they had captured. So could this eerie figure possibly be the spirit of one of the people who passed through the funeral home? Just sitting there on, on, some, on some SpongeBob, just sitting there menacingly. Now, if it's between doing some ghost hunting to an extremely haunted place or bungee jumping, I would rather bungee jump, bro. <laughs> if it's between this and skydive, I'd rather sky freaking dive, man. For real. Because I'm going to ghost hunt. I'm going to find nothing. I'm going to get back home, and then stuff going to be happening to, to me. Because at least with me skydiving, it's like a one-time thing. That's it. 
I'm good. Let me know what you think. We need scary videos. So if you see something that you think would be perfect for the top lie. five, send it to Luke us started at the top five bro. at gmail. I'm feeling com. uncomfortable. The Burial Mounds. Holy. Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back with another investigation. And I'm doing this at night. This time at the mysterious Native American burial mounds at the Crow Wing River in Minnesota. Many people claim to have experienced terrifying paranormal activity at the burial mounds. Some have heard the strange sound of phantom drums and disembodied voices, and some visitors even claim that they have seen glowing apparitions at the site. Curious about the claims, Ian decides to do an overnight investigation in the hopes of capturing paranormal evidence. Things quickly take a very creepy turn as Ian searches for one of the burial mounds. Like I said, I hope you all just see the pattern, man. Okay, hope you see it. Man, walking through these woods, like, I feel on. like anything could just pop out at me right now. On a Native American, like, sorry for the pausing, like, for, on a Native American reserve land that I've heard countless of stories of, of it being sacred and all type of paranormal supernatural stuff happening. Anywhere. Mate. Bears, Mate. Bigfoot, <laughs> ghosts, anything. By himself, too, it's crazy. I don't know, a little crazy. I thought I heard something behind me. Hello? Who's over there? I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. I thought, thought I heard something, but I'm not sure. Ooh, holy shit. Okay. Yeah, that's that's dumb. All right. Okay. I don't Tight know, man. I, I, maybe I'm not going crazy. I don't know. I don't no, know if I should real. try this, but I'm going to try walking backwards because I want to see what's coming up behind me. Huh? Honestly, I don't even like walking backwards because I don't know what's ahead of me. Something could, something could come behind. Is there somebody out here with me? Pause. Oh my God! Holy sh! That scared me so bad. That was a straight up <laughs> voice from thin air. It was as if somebody was standing like right there. Hello. So I, said, I was right there. Ian hears footsteps following him. Then he hears a loud, indiscernible voice. He's now a little freaked out, but he continues his search until he finally finds one of the Native American burial mounds. What happens next is truly disturbing. All right, here's mound number two. He's scared, but he's going deeper? Pause. I'm actually not going to say anything this time. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually just going to listen. things over here it sounds like voices but they're so faint a female voice can be heard speaking almost as if someone at the burial mound is having a long involved conversation It's something else that really spooks Ian as he explores the Crow Wing River's edge. Something truly terrifying. terrifying. Even though there's not much going on right now, it's a lot of fun just being out here. Fun. Out in the wilderness. Even though it's dark, I can barely see 10 feet ahead of me. Holy sh just when I said it was fun being out here. Pretty sure there was a goose back there splashing in the water. Of all things, Ian's biggest scare so far comes from the sudden sound of a honking goose. 
Holy shit. Eventually, Ian finds another burial mound. Now, Ian knows that he might not be able to communicate in English with the spirits of the Native Americans buried there. So, he decides to just listen. What happens next Shut is truly bizarre. <gasps> okay, I just heard talking. I ain't going further. That sounds like a male voice. And further. Deep woods. Could you speak again? <gasps> oh my god! Dude, that was a face! I just seen a face! That was a glowing face! Oh, nah. That's a big face. What the hell? Oh my god. That was kind of big. I can't believe that. Dude, his face just appeared right there. Bro, a little too excited, right man. There. Oh that. my god, that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. It's one thing to see a light, a mist, a, even a shadow, but a face? A face! It looked like a man, too. It looked like a Native American man. Ian hears another low voice speaking from somewhere nearby. We're having a little too much fun, man. A pale face then quickly appears and disappears from right out of the darkness. Ian is shocked by what he has captured and deems his paranormal investigation a huge success. So did Ian capture the voices and face of lingering Native American spirits buried at the Crow Wing River? Yeah. Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky adventures over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter, the San Haven Sanatorium. Nuke's top five bureau Ricky and his sister Vicky set out to explore the old abandoned San Haven Ricky Sanatorium Vicky. near Dunseith, North Dakota. The sanatorium was built in 1912 as a treatment center for patients suffering from tuberculosis. Many of these patients did not survive. They passed away inside the walls of the San Haven Sanatorium. In the 1960s, the hospital became a treatment center for the mentally impaired. However, it was eventually closed in 1987 after many reports of patient mistreatment and neglect. The San Haven Sanatorium is now known as a paranormal hotspot, and to this day, those with an interest in the supernatural travel to the hospital to explore, hoping to experience paranormal activity. That's crazy. So, Ricky and his sister are carefully exploring the creepy old decaying building. They experience something downright creepy. You know, I've had some more. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Oh, come on, let me have that. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Sorry. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, this building's getting pretty, pretty bad. Surprised it hasn't collapsed on itself. Yeah, you. Make. That wasn't you, was it? No. Sound like he was making a beat. Start dancing. Sounds like someone's upstairs. There's someone upstairs. <laughs> There's someone upstairs. What? Oh. Oh. Should be like. Whoa. Hey. Hello. Where you at? Now, it should be noted that this odd event can be explained away as simply water rattling around in the building's old rusty pipes. In fact, if you look closely, this isn't even a water pipe at all. It's actually a piece of old metal electrical conduit that has been cut in half. Nevertheless, it moves and rattles as if shaken by some unknown force. Ricky That's and me. his sister are a bit freaked out and worried that they might not be alone in the sanatorium. However, even if there was someone else upstairs, yeah. it would be impossible for that person to even reach this metal conduit to make it move. So this creepy capture yeah. remains a mystery. I feel like somebody was sitting on that little pipe. 
It, like down the hall, his body would probably a group been of friends out. from Madrid, Spain, are hanging out when they suddenly hear strange sounds coming from the bathroom down the hall. Están escuchando, eso yo. Se están escuchando más de ruidos, tú. Eso viene del baño. No, 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 but the door swing open. Oh, bro. Come on, bro. bro. What the f The guys are hesitant to look inside the bathroom. I don't know if this is real, do. but something horrifying can be seen staring back at them. But still. User Ain Holval shares the video to TikTok with the caption, What the hell was in my bathroom? That's creepy looking bit. That now is. it's certainly very creepy, but is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate <laughs> TikTok hoax? You think that's, decide. This cat. I did not expect that. <laughs> but I'm gonna call Cap on it. Call Cap. Genuine intrigue. New homeowner and Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has been finding evidence that some kind of animal has been walking around his backyard late at night. Curious to see what kind of animal it might be, he decides to look through the footage recorded by his motion detecting security camera. But what he finds sends a chill down his spine. Hey, that was a bar. Like a person. Walking on two feet. During a soft rain, a translucent figure seems to slowly walk through the backyard. Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has no explanation for this bizarre capture. Yeah, like a person. But what do you think this is? Like an animal. Holton Avenue. Popular urban explorer Chris Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore Holton Avenue an entirely abandoned street in Cleveland, Ohio. Like now it's Hill. unknown why the street was left abandoned, other than it sits in an incredibly dangerous neighborhood. Multiple bodies have been found on this street, Duh. and each of the deceased met their end under mysterious and horrifying circumstances. So dragging around his balls of steel, Chris Hill makes it his mission to record and document the abandoned buildings on Holton Avenue before they are demolished. In the middle of the night, Chris begins his exploration at the abandoned First Hungarian Baptist Church. He soon realizes that he might have made a huge mistake. Definitely made a bad mistake. Or her or something. Yeah, there's something. Like a ball. Yeah. It could be a squatter, though. As Chris is exploring the basement, he hears strange noises, but can't identify the source. Then a door above him on the ground floor just slams shut. Chris quickly makes his way upstairs to investigate, 
and what happens next is downright creepy. There's some force behind that, that shot too. For that door. Too big, bro. <clears throat> Pause. Look up, look around. Balls a little too big. He doing it, bro. Chris finds nothing and no one to explain why the door slammed shut. But when reviewing his footage at home, he realizes that he captured more than he thought. A 4K static camera that he placed inside the church's chapel reveals that something seems to move towards the door just before it slams shut. Another static camera shows something pale and translucent nah. moving around the pews while Chris is in the room. Pubes. Hey, yo. But that's not all that Chris captured that night. Because after a thorough walkthrough of the church, Chris decides to check out one of the abandoned houses on Holton Avenue. Why? It did not go well. I just heard a door slam. This cannot be safe. We're going to the basement. My boy. What are you doing? Going into the basement oh, of an abandoned house. It's crazy. At night, it's crazy. It actually looks like it's just underneath the house. It's not really a basement. Still creepy. We're moving that camera. We're moving that camera too fast, bro. Like. This house looked like that nasty house from freaking freaking Resident Evil 7. What was it? Uh was it New Orleans or something like that? In in the bayou. Nasty ass house, man. What the frick? I wouldn't be surprised if family pop up. What? Ho! Sorry. I didn't know nobody lived there. Golly. That was part of the story. While checking out the house's basement, Chris hears movement on the floor above him. Freak Bro. Wait, 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 bro. I can't stand when you do that, bro. It was it was cute at first. Tired us. You lucky on cook. God. Freaked out by the sound, he quickly starts making his way out of there. But there's someone inside with him, peeking out from behind a curtain. The man uh. seems to be living in the abandoned home. Chris knows the horrifying stories of the people who met a tragic end on Holton Avenue. So he quickly just gets out of the house. Going and with versus. that, Chris has had about enough. He decides to just head home. Now, for obvious reasons, I advise everyone watching this to just stay away from Holton Avenue. But if you want to see more of Chris's explorations, you can find them all on his YouTube channel. If you would have had a gun, Hill. it would have been free fall. Have been done. TikTok user Jalen Rich is hanging out with a friend on the boardwalk in Santa Cruz, California, a little after closing time. Something happens that freaks them both out. Out. Okay, but the boardwalk closed like half an hour ago. Why is there a cat? Okay, I'm really bad at this. There's no one's on there. Is there? Okay, I totally saw someone in the camera. We're on that chill. Someone appears to be seated on the Santa Cruz boardwalk free fall ride. Even though the ride is supposed to be closed. But then, whoever or whatever it is seems to disappear into thin air. Jalen explains that both she and her friend okay. saw someone sitting on the ride 
and have no idea how to explain what happened. Now, yeah, the Santa Cruz yeah, Boardwalk yeah, opened in 1907 and has seen at least three confirmed fatal accidents over the last 116 years. Man, that's good. One rumor even Only states three? that a park visitor tragically broke their neck on this very ride. So could it be that Dang. Jalen captured the spirit of someone who really never good. made it out of the park? Only three in a hundred years? Decide. Plus. Followed home. TikTok user Francisco Javier claims that bro. strange things have been bro. happening. Bro, <laughs> already TikTok dang it. user Francisco Javier like, claims that strange things have been happening at his home in Spain. Dude. After exploring an abandoned farm, he came across one. See, this is what the frick I'm talking about, bro. Exploring something with my luck, I'm gonna explore. Quite much, you should you should go to an abandoned house. Quite much, you should go to a cemetery. No. Cause I'm not even gonna play with my life that, like that. Cause I'm gonna explore it. Look it. I, I might not even find nothing at the Pacific specific spot. I said Pacific specific spot. Come back home and I'm gonna be like this. This guy right here, freaking hands at the doorway, a shadow standing at the at the freaking front of the door. One day in the middle of nowhere, he says that the farm is a place of intense paranormal activity. My man. Moving that camera too fast, man. Francisco is recording Scared. at the farm when a door slams shut right behind him. After his days exploring the farm, he believes that something might have followed him home. Empiezo a grabar porque estoy collando sonidos desde el baño muy raro. Estoy solo en casa. Francisco believes that he might be dealing with multiple entities as he begins to hear taunting voices, laughing, and even the sound of intense crying in the night. Multiple? The chilling sound of a baby crying sends Francisco off to search his entire apartment, but he finds nothing to explain the sound. Another night and things escalate to another level when Francisco's Amazon Alexa begins to behave very strangely and absolutely terrifying. Alexa me da un susto de muerte. What the f <laughs> Francisco says that his Alexa is disconnected, yet it calls out in Spanish, Go to the window. I want to see you. And that's hot. not the only time that this happens. Joints turned off. This 
whispering, laughing. A female voice coming from the Alexa laughs out loud, but then stops as soon as Francisco comes around the corner. Then an entirely different, lower and creepier voice Hola. calls out, Hola. You sound kind of bad though, I ain't gonna lie. Francisco has had enough, but he has no idea how to- Does bro have a- hold on, man. Bro got a freaking Chucky doll in there, bro. Francisco- Yeah, he got a f man. Throw that doll away, bro. You are- it's, he say he got multiple uh, uh, entities in there. Mess around. It's gonna be child's play, see the Chucky, bride the Chucky all over again, bro. Drunk gonna go in there with a freaking butcher knife, bro. Slicing your throat. Putting a putting a knife in your head. Who has had enough, but he has no idea how to stop the terrifying activity. He tries to continue living his life as if nothing has happened. But then one night when he's hanging out just watching TV, this happens. Hola? Legit right there. Ghost jet. Hey. <laughs> House kind of nice though. Shame. You gotta be haunted. Bro moving that camera too fast. Francisco is startled by knocking coming from his hallway door. When he stands up to check it out, he spots what appears to be a small child looking in through the window. Shocked by what he's seeing, he quickly opens the door only to find no one there. Nothing. Whoever or whatever this is has disappeared. So did something follow Francisco home from the abandoned farm that he Heck explored? Yeah. Could it even be multiple spirits? And if you were in his shoes, just what would you do? Man, I'm off myself. Thanks. Say goodbye. Like, come on, bro. Try whispering to me. I ain't never heard an Alexa sound watching. like that. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on. I ain't never heard an Alexa sound like that. So in his, his situation, Cause I, even if I move, this is gonna follow me wherever I'm at. So at that point, I might have to, uh, I might have to delete myself. Facts. But it's top ten crazy, scary ghost videos. These were, these were busting, man. These were like some like real good, like real, real good horror ones. Scariest one, uh, the one that made me feel the weirdest is the uh, the woman in the uh, in the dirt road in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why he stopped, bro. And she had blood on her, bro. I'm telling you, bro. She could have been running away from somebody trying to kill her. She could have needed a ride home. I could have been that person to save her life. She's going to die that night. I'm not picking her up. I'm not. I'm not. And and uh, she, he said he's seen her with black eyes. You know that's not natural. That's not normal. Even, even for a quick second of me trying to be a Samaritan and trying to stop, as soon as I see the black eyes, I'm flooring it. It would have been crazy if his car broke down. Bro, if he was gases on E and that joint just broke down, nigga, GG. But it, it was probably that or the one we had just like that just now. But let me know which one you thought was the scariest. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Quebec, Kikwe. And I'm out.